everybody, it's Norm from Tested.com, and at CES 2016, we found Lego, Lego Education, actually. Uh, this is Leisha, you work with Lego Education, and it's a whole division of Lego that we're not very familiar with. Can you tell us what Lego Education's about? Absolutely, so Lego Education's been around for over 30 years. We bring the joy of Lego into the classroom in a way that's integrated into curriculum that schools have to teach every day. So we're trying to create an engaging, dynamic learning experience that combines the joy of Lego with creativity and open-ended problem solving. I imagine that's not just buying a bucket of Lego and giving it to students and telling them to play, because that's fun and I can learn with that, but these are specialized kits or sets that you guys have designed with some extra functionality. So let's talk about some of that. Yeah, so what we do is we look at the curriculum and how LEGO can best support different curriculum areas. Today we're talking about science and a new science product that we've released, but we work across preschool, elementary, middle school, from language arts and writing to science, technology, engineering, and math. And the goal is to use the LEGO brick to enhance those topics and provide a hands-on learning experience. So as children are working with their hands, they're also igniting their mind and having a really hands-on, minds-on learning experience. It's infusing that art, the A, in STEM to make it STEAM. Exactly. So in the set, in this WeDo 2.0 set, what do you get? So WeDo 2.0 is an elementary robotics learning solution that allows you to build a Lego model, program it with really cool graphical programming software to bring that to life, and learn about life science, physical science, earth science, and engineering. And so the WeDo 2.0 set that we have here today, this is the core set, and it contains all the Lego bricks you need to do all of the different projects. So you can see a lot of different Lego elements. Every WeDo set also has a motor and two sensors, a motion sensor and a tilt sensor, and a smart hub that uses Bluetooth low energy to communicate with whatever device you've done your programming on. So there's a companion app as well, and it's through that app that you get the instructions on what to build, yeah. and also some light coding as well? Yeah. So we're showing it here running on an iPad. You could also use an Android device. Chromebook support is coming. Lots of schools are using Chromebooks today, as well as Windows or Macintosh PCs. And so this software is running our B over here but you basically are using the same type of constructs you would in any programming language, but in a really fun graphical environment that's very intuitive for elementary students. So we tested it with tons of elementary age students and teachers to make it really useful and realistic for the classroom. The last thing we want is for this to sit on the shelf and not get used. So you build your Lego model uh, after working through a curriculum activity, and then you use the software to bring that to life, to use the motor and the sensors to add motion to your model. And then I imagine the models are building are representative of the courses and the lessons you want to teach. So for example, whether it's preventing flooding or plants or robots like rovers and space travel, these are all the, mo the designs that you guys have put into the kit. Yep, exactly. There's over 40 hours of curriculum across all various topics in earth science, life science, physical science. And so, for example, here, the plant and pollinator, we're using Lego bricks to model this real world phenomenon of plants and pollinators. You start with a guided project, and then you move into an open-ended project where you can find your own solution. So the cool thing is you're allowed to explore and be creative and find your own solution. Now can educators also design their own models and their own courses and then implement it using the same pieces or even more pieces? Absolutely. So a lot of teachers may choose to use the curriculum we've written and others may choose to create their own activities. We also have a really active community of teachers that post activities that they've done and videos of what they're doing in their classroom. So we can't wait to see what they're going to do with awesome. WeDo 2.0. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing with us what the latest updates on LEGO education. Yes. LEGO at CES 2016. And we'll have more cool stuff on the site on test.com. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.